you know, if one day it looks like uh, uh, we're going to get a weak tropical storm in Dominica, I want to make sure that that thing's not going to blow up into a Category 4 without anyone knowing. What are some of the factors that really influence uh, the hurricane activity, tropical weather activity in the Southern Caribbean? Going back perhaps as far as Dorian and most recently uh, Beryl. Yeah, you look at the Dorians and uh, Marias um, and then kind of the Irmas and then you look at Beryl and Beryl was obviously so devastating and just so almost, I mean it was alarming because it was so devastating, but when it happened it was so early in the season, it, I mean it was late June, it was starting to form and I was getting the sense it was going to be very bad wherever it went. Um, and then we're dealing with this into early July. So uh, one thing I've noticed over the last few years in which has been a bigger concern are rapidly intensifying tropical storms and hurricanes. You wake up one morning and you have a, a tropical storm out there, which we know tropical storms, could be, they could be deadly. Um, but you know, 24 hours later, it's not only a hurricane, but it's a category two, category three, getting even stronger, category four hurricane. I think one thing that we've noticed, the water's always warm, it's summertime and into the fall, it's it's warm. But the, the depth of warm, the warm water, if it's warm even far down, the hurricanes as they pass over can really feed off of that. It's called the ocean heat content. It's just kind of these hot pockets in the water and warm down deep, that's a concern. So the last few years, my concern has been rapidly uh, intensifying storms because I want to give you the heads up on where they're going to where they're going to go. 